Kalis was buried with her. Then, 30 years ago, an expedition located the end of the tomb of Ananka, managing to escape the guarding mummy. Developed and published by Sinclair Strange, Crypt Stalker released October 30th, 2020 on Steam for Windows PC. Hitting the Steam store and just in time for Halloween, Crypt Stalker is an 8-bit action game that channels the Nintendo Entertainment System and Konami's classic title Castlevania. Embracing the limitations of the NES, the developer included artificial flicker and slowdown to mimic the performance of 80s 8-bit hardware. In the options, Features such as flicker and slowdown can be turned on and off to suit your preference. The game's story is played in an introductory cutscene. Every night the clips, demons open a portal to the world through a crypt. The demons choose a different crypt each time they attempt to enter our world. Crypt stalkers locate the portal and stop the demonic invaders. As a descendant of these virtuous heroes, Gladys travels to the pyramids of the dam to uphold her title as Crypt Stalker. Gladys is a very cool protagonist with a whip and pistol. Upgrading the whip gives her a flamed weapon that tears through enemies and lassos hooks to swing across pits. The pistol fires ranged attacks with limited ammunition, but breakable objects and enemies drop extra bullets and magazines. A variety of power-ups for the pistol give Gladys an electric shot that travels through multiple enemies across the entire screen and a shorter ranged explosive shot with additional blast damage. In the earlier stages of the game, I found myself saving ammo for bosses, but later stages demanded the switching between weapons to traverse platforming sections with floating bats and leaping demons. Each stage ends with a boss fight. I really like the design of the bosses, as they often reflect the Egyptian theme. I had a lot of fun learning the attack patterns and searching for weak spots. I love the game's soundtrack, and it easily fits in with the classic chiptune tracks of Konami and Capcom classics from the 80s. I recognized a few sound effects from past NES games, which further immersed me in happy nostalgia. The game is incredibly feature complete with the main campaign of the original mode composed of nine stages. I've made it to stage six on this mode after playing for about three hours. The game could be pretty tough. Reading the game's Steam page, I think boss rush mode is unlocked after completing original mode. Casual mode reduces the number of stages to six, with the more difficult platforming sections altered to reduce stage length, reduce the number of enemies, and reduce hazards such as bottomless pits and spikes. I completed this mode in less than 30 minutes. I played it twice because my video capture failed, and I was able to complete the mode without dying once on my second attempt. I died once or twice the first time. Handheld mode emulates the original Nintendo Game Boy, complete with the limitations of the handheld console, and a border reminiscent of the Super Game Boy. At first I thought this was going to be a filter, but to my surprise the game is redesigned from the ground up with different stage layouts, sprites, and controls matching the Game Boy. This mode features four stages. I've only completed the first stage of this mode, but I do plan to complete the rest. Challenge mode provides a variety of new levels with a futuristic laboratory setting that reminded me of Mega Man. The challenges range from completing a stage without weapons, limiting the number of jumps per stage, and high difficulty stages filled with enemies and traps. I had a lot of fun playing this mode. The stages limiting the number of jumps made the game feel puzzle-like in a unique way. The game also features a sound test mode so you can listen to all those awesome tunes and Steam achievements to track your progress as you complete the game. Right now, Crypt Stalker is available for a 33% discount for a total of $2 on Steam until November 6th. I highly recommend this game if you enjoy classic Castlevania and 8-bit NES-style action games.